Hey everybody, this is Tom from the NaturalDogTrainer.com. Uh, today we're going to talk about uh, two recipes that you can use to make your dog uh, some really healthy treats. Uh, Prepackaged dog treats are really expensive. I mean, I don't know if you've looked at them lately, but if you want to get name brands, you're going to pay a lot for them. And there is a chance, though, could be should be remote that a prepackaged treat may even kill your dog if. Uh, you have a question there look up something called greenies it wasn't all that long ago that greenies were responsible for killing a few dogs <clears throat> the guidelines for manufacturers on the ingredients in a dog treat I don't trust them and I don't think you should either um, if you think that prepackaged food and dog treats are a great thing for your dog and they shouldn't have anything else I suggest you eat one try it and see if you like it if you don't like it he's not gonna like it so if you don't want to take the taste test, spend some time in investigating what really goes into dog food. Believe me, you'll never feed your dog canned or prepackaged dog food again. Here are some of the recipes I use for creating safe and healthy treats for my dogs. Mighty Dog Treats. Ingredients, pretty self-explanatory. Two and three quarter cups of whole wheat flour. Uh, half a cup of powdered milk. Teaspoon of salt. Quarter teaspoon of garlic. One egg, six tablespoons of vegetable oil, nine tablespoons of water, two jars of strained baby food. Pick uh, one of the meat flavors. Directions are pretty easy. You just preheat the oven to 350. Mix all the ingredients together in a large bowl, and you're going to knead it like you know, just it's just like a dough for five minutes. Once you do that, roll it out till it's about an inch thick. Use you can use a pizza cutter to cut the dough in the chunks that you want to, whatever size you want to give your dog based on their size or if you really want to get fancy you can go to uh, PetSmart or something like that and pick up some uh, doggy shaped cookie cutters. Um, put your treats on an ungreased cookie sheet and they'll cook for about 20-25 minutes. Next is chicken liver dog treats. Ingredients for this is a pound of chicken liver, two eggs, two tablespoons of molasses, one and a half cups of cornmeal, and about a half a cup of powdered milk. Uh, combine all the ingredients in a blender, food processor, until it's smooth. Then you, what you do is you pour it into a uh, baking tray or cookie sheet, bake it 400 degrees, and it's kind of like doing a cake. You stick a toothpick in, and if it comes out clean, it's done. Here's a couple other suggestions. Frozen meaty cubes. i, you know, I got to tell you, my dogs love these things. I, you can buy stock at the store. Make sure it's low sodium if you do. I like making my own. And what you basically do is take a, an ice tray and pour the stock into the tray, freeze the tray, and your dog's got a cold or a hot weather treat that they're going to love. Uh, meat treats, you can make them just like chicken liver treats, but you can use any kind of meat. When I say meat, I don't mean actual meat. When you make the ice cube treats, you've got to use stock. You don't have to resort to prepackaged, over the over-processed garbage anymore. Now you can create your own healthy dog treats. You're going to love them. Your dog's going to love them. I guess this is Tom at the uh, naturaldogtrainer.com. Stop on by. You'll see some more videos. You'll find some articles. And maybe we can help you deal with your dog. Any problems you might have, feel free. Come on by. Take it easy.